after a really busy couple of weekends at Rodney Cook and Detectable, it feels amazing to be back detecting the beautiful Suffolk soil. Join me on another little adventure on this historic landscape where I take my metal detector and attempt to find things lost by our ancestors and forgotten through time. That didn't take long, did it? We're about 10 yards into the field. I've come across a... It's a bit blippy, a bit sort of a double blip, bouncy tone. But I like the numbers and it's consistent. So let's get it up. Signal one, lovely little button. I'll take that for signal one. Absolutely superb. Great start. As usual, I'm on the Equinox 800 with the 11 inch coil. Superb, I'll take that. Nice. This is what we like to see. Bits of Roman pottery just laying about on the surface. Actually, which is, this is unusual. I know I call it the Roman field, but normally it's literally just coins and I found a couple of fibulas. Don't normally find any pottery. This is good. This means that there's more activity up here maybe than I first thought. I'm not sure. But yeah, I really like to see that. I'm pretty sure that's Roman pottery. I'm not an expert on pottery, I don't claim to be. And if I'm wrong, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's just a bit of Roman greyware. Superb. Let's find some metal targets. Right, I've got an iffy one. Um, it's sort of here, there and everywhere. But I like the tone, I think I'm gonna give it a go. Definitely getting plenty of targets at least. I've been in here five minutes and this is the second target. Great. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. I'm pretty sure it's a jug handle. I wouldn't even like to take a guess at dating it. Could it be Roman? I don't know. It was fairly deep. A lovely decoration on it. In fact, I'm going to give it a little clean up because it's in such good condition. I don't mind giving it a scrub with the toothbrush. And I'll come back to you in a second. Well, that's a real beauty. I don't actually know what it is. I'm, I'm guessing jug handle, surely. It's absolutely beautiful. Lovely green patina on it. It's bronze, definitely bronze. That is absolutely lovely. Really, really happy with that. Really happy. That nice sort of herringbone pattern there. And then this kind of flower motif in the middle, maybe, I'm not sure. That is absolutely beautiful. If anyone has got any idea what this is, or I'm pretty sure it's a jug handle, but from what period it's from, I mean, this is off the Roman field, but dare to dream. <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. It doesn't look quite aged enough to be Roman, although the style looks reasonably Roman. Yeah, hit me up in the comments if, you're, if you've got any ideas. And while we're there, Please hit that like and subscribe button. That would help me out no end and I absolutely appreciate every single last one of you who take the time to watch my videos and support the channel. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, what a lovely find. What a great start, a button and that. Well folks, this is why I love Suffolk and the particular area where I live and I'm very, very lucky enough to have permission. I've probably been on this field 15, 20 minutes. I've had the lovely two bits you've already seen. Another lovely signal there. Just makes me excited every time I get a signal on this field. Bit of a different tone that way. Maybe it's not quite as good as I first thought. One way to find out, let's get it out of the ground. It's another very old looking bit of bronze. It's a bit sort of gnarled up on that side, not sure. It's obviously something because it's got that seam that goes through there. Not really 100% sure what it is, but I might give this one a little clean up and if, if there's any more detail, I'll come back to you. If there isn't, I won't. <laughs> right, here we go. We've got another jumpy, where is it? There, another jumpy 11, 12. Yeah, interesting. Never know on this field. Here we go, get a load of this. Roman, 
already on the Roman, on the Roman field. I know it's very worn or deteriorated, but it's clearly Roman. See the radiate crown there, probably a barbarous radiate maybe, because it looks a bit crude. But that is fantastic. We're on the Roman, yes, get in there. Right, I've come across an absolute beauty of a signal here. Listen to that, absolutely screaming at me. That's why it sounded good. It's a bullet case, and they always sound good. Never mind, find is a find. Right, this sounds like a tiny, tiny little target and it's ringing up a five, six or six, seven. Bit faint, it's either small or deep, but I'm going for small. It took me absolutely ages to find it and it's just a little chunk of lead. Never mind, eh? We'll move on. Right, I got a nice little signal. Sort of 12, 13. Not a brilliant signal, but yeah, it's all right. It is a little broken piece of crotal bell. Nice. It goes to show there's plenty more on here to find. I've been on this field quite a lot, but every time it's cultivated, it just seems to turn into a new field. I mean, they're not deep ploughing it or anything. It's just scraping off the top, but yeah, superb. Plenty of targets. Well, after a bit of a frantic start, I haven't had a signal for about 20 minutes, but um, yeah, I've come across this. Not sure what to make of it at the moment. There's only one way to find out, really. I'm going to dig it. Not expecting too much. Yeah, I was right to be a bit sceptical. It's just this iron buckle. It's a piece of history, isn't it, either way? But yeah, nothing too special there. Well, I've come across a very high-pitched signal. I think it's probably going to be trash because I'm literally right there close to the road. But I'm thinking like a tin can or something, but I've got to dig it, obviously. I absolutely cannot blooming believe this. I thought it was going to be a tin can. It's an absolutely massive Roman. Look at that. I'm going to give this a really gentle clean-up because it looks like there's some detail in here. Definitely a bust. Oh, my God. Yes, that has absolutely made my weekend. Well, I say weekend, made my Monday. I was at Detectable yesterday, found absolutely nothing. And then I come home to my own permission and find this absolute stonker. Look how thick that is. Absolute beauty. Just look at the detail on that. I haven't gone too nuts because I'm too scared to put any water on it. So I don't want to ruin it. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. I'm going to have to go home and find out who that is. I mean, most of you are probably screaming at the telly now. You know exactly who that is, but I'm not really that good at um, reading the Roman coins. Like I say, probably half of you are screaming at the TV. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, it's one of my favourite Roman coins I've ever found. What a find. I thought it was going to be a tin can. 29 not particularly deep even but like i say this field has just been cultivated that'll do me right guys still absolutely speechless after finding that roman oh my god and i've just come up with Another absolute spanker of a signal. Oh God. Absolutely buzzing. Well, it wasn't very deep. It's just in the topsoil there, but like I say, it's been cultivated. So I'm just gonna see if I can pinpoint it with you. If I can. Not very good at pinpointing on camera while I'm holding it, because I forgot my GoPro. Which I'm absolutely gutted about now, because I'd have been loving to do some live digs right now. 
I've found it, not entirely sure what it is. This bit here actually, it's got like a bit of silver wash or silver gilt on it, I think. Kind of almost see it shining. You're not really sure, some sort of pin badge or heart horse harness decoration or something like that, not sure. Interesting anyway. Rung up a good signal. I literally just swept over this on the surface. That's exciting, isn't it? Do you think it's a blade? Tip of a blade? That looks incredible. After speaking to my good friend Ash, the Southern Searcher, he suggested this might even be Bronze Age. So I contacted the FLO, and to my surprise, how incredible is this? It turns out it's a Bronze Age sword fragment. So I've agreed, I'm gonna hand it in, and they're gonna record it and send it back to me. How good is that? Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. This has turned into an insanely good day. Get back off holiday, it's been freshly cultivated and rolled, and you're bang on the finds. It's absolutely amazing. It feels lovely to be back on my own permission. Well, I've stumbled on another pretty reasonable sounding signal. I don't know how this day can get any better. Honestly, I really don't. <laughs> well, I've been getting overexcited about every signal, but they're not all special finds. Just a sheared off stainless bolt there. Right, we have got ourselves a nice 11 12. Sounds pretty good both ways. I'm showing a 16 17 that way though. Hmm, not sure. Intriguing this one. Not this time. Just a bit of old tin can. We are, again, quite close to the road now, so kind of expect a bit of litter. Unfortunately, as sad as that is. Yeah, cool. On to the next one. Right, we've got a really low tone here. Seven. Fairly solid. I've had Romans and cut quarters and things like that down in these low numbers. So you never know, do you? But sadly, it is neither a Roman or a cut quarter. It is just a piece of sliced can slaw. Never mind. It's not going to dampen our spirits today. We've had a cracking day. In fact, I'm not even bothered if I don't find anything else. I've got about 45 minutes left, and then I've got to go and pick up my boy from school. So we'll uh, we'll move on. Right, we've come across another decent signal. Jumping between sort of 20 and 25. It sounds pretty good. It's either trash or a copper coin or a Georgian or something like that maybe. Who knows? Well, whatever it is, it's got a nice green patina to it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to identify that, I'm afraid. Yep. Right, I was just on my way back to the truck, and I'm literally that close to the road, so I thought this was going to be trash. Well, I thought I would dig it anyway, but I didn't film it. It's this lovely little button. Lovely little pattern on it. Nice, really cool. Well, that is just the cherry on top of what has been a fantastic cake of a day, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Well, I'm back at the truck now. That wasn't half bad, was it? So there's all the rubbish I dug today. But hey, look at this. It's a pretty handsome looking coin pod, isn't it? One, two Romans, look at that. That is absolutely insane. I love that. So I'm gonna get some uh, more info on that one later on. Some nice buttons, this lovely jug handle, potential, bit of a blade tip. It's got all the hallmarks in it. Of a blade tip, the shape. Yeah, what a day. Absolutely over the moon with that. 